Okay, the next part is giving a more strength and um, stability to your wire project. And I just want to add that any of the wire techniques we've learned so far, you can use for this. Also, any of the cardboard techniques we've learned earlier in the marking period, please go ahead and use those for this structure. Um, you also have some clear tape in your art kit. Feel free to use that. And I know I'm going to need some of this. You also have some glue in your art kit. You can use that as well. And right now, like this one's having just a little bit of a difficult time staying exactly where I want it. So I'm just going to wrap some tape around there to help um, just temporarily hold it in place. It's going to become even more sturdy and strong. And I'm just making sure that those are all in there where I want them to be. And you can even see I've hooked the wire under here, okay? So after that's kind of in place and using as much tape or glue as you need, um, you're gonna take the foil, okay? So I'm going to maybe rip this into some smaller chunks here um, that will just make it a little bit more workable. And basically this foil is going to be um, able to add like um, more dimension to the wire here. So thinking of the wire as the skeleton, the, um, the wires like the bones or the structure that holds it all up, the, think of the foil as like the muscles, which give like your body its tone and definition. So um, for here, I'm gonna kind of crumple it up into more of a ball and kind of stuff it in here to kind of make those a little bit more um, dense and maybe I'll come back in here. I still don't like the way that's holding so I'm just going to come in with this extra piece of wire that I have and just kind of loop that around. So get creative and use whatever materials you need or whatever materials you have available to you. Ah, there we go. So just in a series of the way I loop that wire, really already helping it to hold in place better. Okay, there we go. And then, like for instance, this guy here, um, I want that one to be a little bit more thick, so I'm gonna just kinda wrap this foil around it, kinda scrunch it up and get it to be like a thicker, um, form here and then I'm going to put some dimension on the top of that to really make that stand out. And I'm going to add a little bit more here. So just as you're working on this, constantly be examining it and looking at it from all around just to make sure it's actually doing what you want it to. Is it communicating the emotion? that you are trying to portray. Always keep that in the back of your mind as you're creating here. So use as much or as, as little of the foil as you think you need. I'm just gonna come around here and kind of make that face a little bit more solid. Filling in here a bit just to give that some more dimension. And you can smooth the foil out or I'm kind of liking just the um, jaggedy texture to it. It's kind of up to you how you want to do that. There we go. Need a little bit more there. Okay, so we've got two more to cover. You don't have to cover the base unless you feel like you need to. Um, so that is up to you, but I am going to kind of give this some more structure here. And it's not quite looking quite as tranquil as I had envisioned. Um, so I'm going to tweak some things here just to make it have a more visual semblance of that kind of tranquil idea. And so for me, I'm thinking because everything's like seems so straight and like it's popping out, kind of looks more like a plant. 
So I think what I want to do is kind of make them more wiggly in here. I'm just going to see what that does. So I wiggled those edges, and that definitely looks more unique, more interesting. Um, so I think I'm going to keep that. And when you think you're done with that, just turn it around and examine it from all different sides to see how it's looking and add to it and edit it as needed. But that's adding the foil and cardboard to give it more um, depth and sculptural forms in it.